Yes. Uh, well, good evening, friend. Uh, ask the questions. We are discussing today uh, subject verb agreement. Questions based on subject verb agreement. First of all, you ask, sir, what is subject verb agreement? Ask, sir. Sir, what is subject verb agreement? Yes, a verb always agrees with subject in number and person. I repeat. A verb always agrees with a subject in number and person. That is called subject verb agreement. For example, if there is a singular subject in third person, verb will be singular. Plural subject, plural verb. Right. But in first person and second person, it is an exception. First person, we will always use plural verb. I, I never we use I. Always I ke sata am likte. I am. We never like write I, uh, R. Am I right? So, I has the singular am, but when we write I with a simple present, I will always write I go. So, that is a plural verb. Am I right, sir? Similarly, we go. We never say you goes. We always say you go. So, first person, second person, generally you are. We are always treating them as plural. You are. I, I am. The, the first person, I, singular, I am, but when it is we, then it will again are. We are. So, a verb necessarily will agree with the subject in number and person, in third person. But in first person and second person, there is an exception. I always takes am, you take takes are, understand? Yes. And I, so, in third person, the rule is singular subject, say like that, singular subject, singular, subject, singular verb, singular, singular, singular verb. subject, like you say, a boy is sitting here, it is singular, yes, boys are sitting here, plural. Yes, sir. Similarly, one of the boys, one. One is singular. One of the boys is sitting here. One of the boys is singular. So it is is. Many boys are sitting here. Plural. So are. Yes, sir. Ask question now. The furniture in the room are made of tick. Uh, furniture is always used in singular. If you want to write furniture in plural, then you can write sets of furniture. The sets of furniture in this room are new. We you will never write furniture. It is always in singular form. Therefore, the answer will be the furniture in this room is new, not are new. Yes, is new. Furniture is always singular. And if you really want to make it plural, then write set of furniture. Set of furniture. Furnitures are. Go ahead. A swarm of bees is hovering over ha, the flock. Swarm of bees. Actually, collective noun. A swarm of bees here. We are talking about one group of bees. That is a swarm of bees. And that is why it's singular. Is hovering. The answer will be is hovering. A swarm of bees is hovering. Yes. So here is uh, a swarm of bees is hovering over the flowers. The question is given is. Yes, yes sir. So here it means it means a group of. So it will be are hovering. Bees here. Yes, sir. Number of bees. Plural. Sir, can we write here where were? War, but it is in present tense. Why should we change the tense? We are not going to change the tense. We are going to change the verb subject agreement. Yes. Sir. Not only his wife, but even his mother also find him selfish. Ha, finds him selfish. Not only, but also, yes, always takes the verb will agree with the second one. Your wife is here singular, so finds, F-I-N-D-S, singular subject, singular verb. Yes, not only his, uh, uh, what is that? Not question? only his wife. Ha, his wife, but also, even his mother. Even his mother, yeah, also his mother finds. The yes, answer sir. will be finds, F-I-N-D-S, yes, singular subject, singular verb, yes. Mr. Misra with his wife and children were present at the station. Actually, should be was present. Why ask? Mr. Misra was present at the station along with his wife and children. Just, you know, integrate the sentence in this manner. Mr. Misra was present at the station along with his wife and children. This is the right, right way of writing. Yes, but as it is written in this way, just to confuse, Mr. Misra, along with his wife and children, was present at the station. Was present at the station. The, the subject is Mr. Misra, not his wife and children. That is why it will be singular. So it will be was. Actually, the subject you have to find out. What is the subject? Subject is Mr. Misra. Like if I say, money is along with all his friends. Then it will be was at this school. Where we, it will not be were. It will be was. Money is along with all his friends. Was Present at the school. Present at the school. Next question. A large number of students has applied for the job in uh, the... Have applied. Ask why. A large number always stands for majority of. 
a large number means plural and therefore it will be have a large number of students have applied have applied for job because yes, in plural form we write have in singular we write has yes next the dog along with the boys we are walking in the field the we dog are... along with the boys the dog was walking was, was walking, walking. Uh, dog is sub subject is dog not the along with the boys yes, yes sir he is one of the persons who is always against black uh, He is all, one of the persons. So yes. the subject is persons who are always. Persons comes out of yes. Persons plural hai, who are always. So is will change it to are. Change kijiye. He is like the key. Rabindra yes, Tagore. Dekhi haa par. Rabindra Tagore is one of the one of the great poets who have always been in India. Who have. Rabindra Tagore is like Tendulkar is one of great batsmen who are born in India, who are born in India, is batsmen comes are R ho jayega, Tendulkar is one, Tendulkar is one, singular, ke saath singular laga hai, yes, Tendulkar is one of the batsmen who are born in India, one of the batsmen, one of the players who are yes, born sir. in India, who are born in India, uh, Tramina Tagore is one of the greatest poets who have been born in India, who have been born in India, uh, so who, poets comes are have been ho jayega, hai na? Plural. Next. Many of the questions asked in the question paper was easy. Sir, was where, where is he? Where? Gira diye. Dandan di. Laga di ye. Kuhi. Kuhi chut gaya lagta hai. Haan. Dutin thor hai. Let it be. Oishya 